Sorry, now give me market. What do you want? Eight me to build. Eight musket men. Okay, I can do that. And you are willing to give me electricity as my free technology. No, I will leave you inside of the city. He will give me addition, one additional production and nine additional science points. And now I will probably start building the mask man. I'm gonna. It will be not that long before I discover rifling, so I need to build them right away if I want eight additional units. And now I've got one turn to, to the Statue of Liberty is ready. I've got 678 science points. Let's check how much my science will increase once I've built it. You want to be my vassal state. Okay. Who declare war on me? The Turks, the Persian and Native Americans. Oh well, they are very far away. And I've met the Spanish. Have a little gift and goodbye. One musket man is ready. Seven more to go. Okay, now, now I've got 683. see the movie how the Statue of Liberty has been built or not because it's lagging extremely hmm okay I guess I'm guessing you haven't seen the movie because I haven't seen it let's just click OK and give me a musket man How come my research went down? Hmm. They have to had to switch some. Mm, probably some citizen allocation. Uh, when I, as far as I remember, Beijing switched the switch completely to production. It wasn't growing, so they have to have some specialists here which generated the science now they switch back to growth so the only one is the free engineer and that is why my science actually went down mm. but I'm not gonna mm, I'm not gonna work manually with the specialists because it takes a lot of time and in this scenario in this game you will playing as Koreans it doesn't make much difference so I'm just gonna leave it like that got market go musket man and I've got the great spy the great spy will construct Interpol great scientists will join the city I've got some enemies here a damaged archer is the enemy. I'm gonna send one unit here to kill it so that the archer doesn't you know, pillage my upgraded tiles. I'm researching replaceable parts now and now my workers will be able to build lumber mills in on the tiles with um, forest, I've got a lot of forest ties, it will give me additional production. Then I will go for rifling to get riflemen and 
better defensive units. Although I would really like to complete the Musketman goal before getting to Earth. At this point of the game, I'm only waiting for year 1945 to complete the, complete the third goal. There's not much which... Uh, not many things could actually happen to stop my victory. The only thing I can think about is when the Chinese, in case of the Chinese uh, responding, which might happen and probably eventually will, they will want their cities back. The cities will flip back to the Chinese and I cannot agree to that. So I will have war with the Chinese in such case. And this is the only situation I can imagine in which I could not get a victory, I could lose the city. Although I don't think it will actually happen because I know how to deal with such a situation. So, just waiting till it's done. Is that enough of Masked Man? Here is a library, go see one. Yeah, I've got the, uh, enough of Masked Man, now I can research rifling. Don't worry that I'm not gonna fulfill the quest. And as a result I can get each musketman promoted to pinch. The other one it will be it will receive 652 gold but get one unhappiness temporarily in all cities but I would need vassalage for that. Or I can get a golden age which I don't really need. I'm gonna go with the first one because then um, you can see it got the upgrade pinch that's an upgrade against gunpowder units once I've upgraded my musketman to rifleman and then later infantry the upgrade will remain and it is a very good upgrade probably the most useful one because um, all advanced units the best advanced units are counted as gunpowder units like musketman, rifleman, infantry, and the additional bonus will be useful. But now it's enough, now I can go intelligence. Enough with the rifleman. Now I will go intelligence agencies to get another further bonus in espionage. I don't know if you can see that on the small screen but I'm basically can see what every other nation is researching um, I don't only don't see the Japanese and the Spanish don't have enough espionage points with them I stop seeing what the Indians are researching maybe they invested in their espionage against me you can do that uh, when they noticed for example what I'm doing and that I'm way advanced than they are. I would like to sign peace treaty with my enemies and they don't want to talk with me. I'm gonna wait a couple of turns. There's no point of s building an army and sending it to Turkey. I'm, even if I had conquered some of them cities, they would flip right back to the Turkish or I would get unstable. It, it doesn't make much sense. I think I won't be declaring any war now at the moment. I don't need any more cities. I've got quite large empire and for example the Japanese. I could declare war on the Japanese although I don't think it would be wise because I could conquer their cities and they might recapture it very fast 
facts and then I would lose the goal so that doesn't make sense either so basically it's just, just clicking and waiting for the turns to pass and that's for another 250 years I can go and build Kremlin, although Kremlin will be completely useless as it reduces the cost of purchasing units and items. You need a universal suffrage for purchasing of units, which I'm not gonna adopt anyway. Go Grotz, so I've got my first rifleman, and here's the other one. I've also got great profit. I'm gonna build a great um, holy city in uh, Beijing, holy city of Confucianism, which is my religion. Gonna get additional gold. It was like 30 additional gold per turn. I can upgrade. Uh, I'll invest more in my research. One, if I spawn another great prophet, I'm also gonna build the great, um, the holy city of Taoism. Kingdom of Netherlands is the only nation besides me at the moment that is still able to get all of the um, goals which are their historic victory goals. Of course, a couple of nations will spawn later, the Germans, the Americans, which cannot complete their goals because I already built the Statue of Liberty, also the Zulu, which don't complete the goals as well because they don't know how to do it. So I don't need to worry about that. Actually, the Netherlands, the Dutch are the ones that could complete the goals, although I've never seen them getting the seven uh, resources of spices. They very often get up to five resources. They settle all around the world next to the spices resources, but don't go as far as getting seven of them. Another round of plague is coming. You can hear it and you can see it. I'm pretty sure I will get it as well. The plague expands very fast throughout the whole world. And I can build Wembley, which is a unique wonder for this mode. You cannot build it in the standard game gives you some additional happiness points and you can um, you can exchange them you can sell them to other cities here's a rifleman you can get me a confusion temple here give me a harbor and as you can see I've discovered